In this video, we're going to take a look at the features offered by the latest extension to the Myriad Anywhere Cloud Platform, Playout Remote. Unlike RVT, Playout Remote allows you to actually control the live output of your radio station via a web browser using the Anywhere Cloud Playout Remote client. When you initiate a Playout Remote session, the system will connect to Anywhere Cloud, which in turn connects to the remote edit server at your station. The remote edit server works out which workstation is on air, either your studio, playout machines, your automation machine, whichever, and connects to it, providing real-time information about what is actually currently playing on your station. You can not only view that in the playout remote interface, but you can also control it, giving you for the first time direct remote control access to the live playout from your radio station from anywhere in the world via a web browser. So let's take a look and see what we can do. Playout Remote is an extension of the Myriad Anywhere Cloud Platform, so it's accessed via the same methods as the standard Anywhere RVT. Type in the URL for the station you wish to visit. Type in your username and password, click Connect. If you have multiple stations set up at the site, you'll be asked which station you want to connect to. If you only have a single station, however, this stage will be skipped. I'm just opening the Hot Extra database here, and this is the standard RVT uh, interface for Myriad Anywhere. However, you'll notice there is a new feature, Connect to Studio. If we drop down this option, we can see we've got two options. We can either connect to the on-air studio, which everyone edits. If we pick that option, then the system will automatically connect to whichever workstation your, your radio station is currently the on-air workstation. I could also choose location, in which case I can choose from a selection of workstations that is set up in the system. In this case, I want to connect to the on-air system. So what's happening right now is Anywhere is talking to Res at the station and working out which station, which workstation is on air and also what the status is. Here we can see it's loaded up the Anywhere Playout Remote interface. It's very similar to the RVT interface, except we can see there's a few additions. First off, we have the dashboard. This is used to show us what is playing and what is coming next on our live on-air system. And as you can see, it's got the same information on it as the dashboard you'll be familiar with in studio, including overrun, end chain types, uh, time remaining, that type of thing. Now with the dashboard, if we were to be in a live show as we are right now, we can also change the chain types. If we edit the log and remove the item that's playing next, then it will update the dashboard accordingly. If I was to fast forward towards the end of this track, you can see that it'll count down until the end of the track, just like in the studio. And when it gets to the end, they will stop because the chain type is set to be a red square. So 10 seconds from the end, it's warning me it's coming to the end. We can see in the media players and it's queued the next item ready to play. And just like in the studio, it stops here and waits for us to press go. This is just the end of the extra that's playing out right now. You'll also notice that I have favorites here. So I could be talking right now. Uh, I can also trigger a favorite if I wish. As you can see, it's playing in a media player down there. And when I'm ready to get going, just press the go button again. And so item starts. So we have full log editing, exactly the same as in RVT. We can change the positioning of things. We can go to the library and um, pull content in from the library. Uh, we can, anything that needs editing in here can be edited. And we also have full access to the Segway editor for both editing segways and voice tracking, just like in the standard RVT client. We can also switch between playout modes. So if I switch this to be in auto fade, we can see that um, the chains have changed to green circles all the way along. And uh, the system is now 
managing the overrun just like in the studios. And we can switch back to live mode as well. We can also switch into standby mode if we wish, but we won't be doing that because this station is live on air. Moving on to the favorites, you can see we can choose the sets that we have available from both personal and shared sets. You can also trigger a favorite by simply clicking on it. Let's click on this dry sweeper too. And there you can see it's playing in a player. Now remember, what we're seeing here isn't actually the, the playing item. Every time we do something in here, it's actually instructing the playout system at your station to actually do it. So when we click on favorite number eight in the studio, favorite number eight has just started playing. And this information we're getting here is actually being fed back from the studio. So we know that it is actually playing because if it wasn't playing, that progress bar wouldn't be going along there. We can also change the um, favorite playout modes, just like in the studio, to be start, restart, stop, or single item. Finally, you can control the media players in much the same way that you can in the studios. So you can pause them and play them again. You can drag to seek. You can even change the volume up and down. And all the changes will be affected at the studio end. So there we have a quick overview of Playout Remote. Obviously, this could be a very useful tool for remote working, working from home, doing OBs, or any time where you need to be able to control your live system, but don't have access to your studio. One thing to keep in mind that this is a control protocol. So if you want to be able to talk live, you're still going to need some type of audio over IP solution, either a physical codec like an AEQ codec, or you could use a software uh, solution such as CleanFeed or IPDTL. So by combining those with the Myriad Anywhere Playout Remote, you can actually start to do live shows from anywhere in the world just from a web browser. Thanks for watching.